The way that you speak and think creates the window through which you see the world. Words have incredible power. They shape our thoughts, express our emotions, and convey our deepest beliefs. They are not merely tools of communication, but serve as windows through which we see the world and through which the world sees us. When we speak, our words reveal the state of our hearts and minds. They reflect our perspectives, attitudes, and values. Just as a window allows light to enter a room, words spoken with intention and out of truth allow others to glimpse into our innermost being, revealing a part of who we are. The words we choose have the ability to help shape the world around us. They can inspire, encourage, and uplift those who hear them. They can bring healing and reconciliation or inflict wounds that linger long after they are spoken. Our words have the power to build up or to tear down, to speak life or to bring destruction. I hope you really understand the significance of the way that you speak. As a husband and father of four, mastering the way I speak became an ultimate goal. It became an obsession for me that I work on every single day. I actually put together a list of 15 verses that I am working on memorizing to help me with this, that I can recall and lean on in the heat of the moment when I need to be reminded. But keep in mind, words are not only about how others perceive us, they also shape how we perceive the world. The language we use influences our thoughts, emotions, and actions. It frames our understanding of reality, shaping our beliefs and influencing the choices we make. That's what makes learning and understanding God's word so powerful. If we fill our conversations with negativity, complaints, and criticism, our worldview becomes clouded with cynicism and discontentment. However, when our words are rooted in love and kindness and gratitude, our perspective becomes infused with hope, compassion, and joy. Do you see what I mean? If not, try it. Trust me, I spent most of my life deep on the negative side. Growing up, I was probably one of the most negative people you could ever meet. As a follower of Jesus, we are called to use our words wisely. We are encouraged to let our speech be seasoned with grace, speaking truth in love and building others up. Our words should reflect the character of Jesus and the transformative power of his gospel. To ensure that our words align with God's heart, we need to be intentional in cultivating a vibrant relationship with him. Spending time in prayer and studying his word allows his truth to shape our thoughts and guide our speech. The more we are able to abide in Him, the more our words will become a reflection of His love and grace. Let's remember that the words we choose not only impact those around us, but also shape our own perception of the world. As we speak life-giving words, we invite God's love and truth to transform our own hearts and minds, allowing us to see the world through the lens of His grace and redemption. If you found this devotional helpful, please share it with others who might need to hear this message.